In this video, we'll talk about curb judgment. That's coming right up. Hey, it's Sean from Zula Driving School, and let's get right into talking about curb judgment. All right, curb judgment. This refers to how you can avoid hitting the curb as you're pulling up beside a curb. So let's say you're driving down a road and you want to pull over to the side of the curb. So you've got your signal on and you come in to pull over. How do you know when you should stop going towards the curb? So your signal mirror mirror shoulder check and it's clear and you move over and at this point how do you know when you should bring it back to center and when you should move it to the left and when you should bring it back to center so that's what we're going to talk about now the best way to do this is to have a reference point if you don't have a reference point it's going to be hard to do this quickly so the first time you come around to do a pullover you might be hesitant and you might not get really close to the curb and the way you can tell how far you are from the curb is possibly if there's a car parked in front you can see where you are relative to the to, the, to them are you sticking um, further out into the road from where they're sitting or are you looking straight at their license plate but a better way to tell is to look at this right side mirror and look at the actual curb you're going to be seeing this you're going to see the body of your car you're going to be able to see how close you got to the curb so you want to be about 15 centimeters away um, and if you look over at that side mirror and you see you know you've got a you've got still room to go you might decide that you're going to pull over a bit more and you should do this until your driving instructor your co-ed driver says okay that's a good enough distance away from the curb once you're there for the very first time look out your front window and the curb is going to look something like this From where you're sitting and you're looking out your front window and you got your steering wheel here you're looking over at the curb if you follow that the line of the curb towards your windshield or where your dashboard is you're gonna see it intersect somewhere on your dashboard sometimes I mean depending on your seat adjustment where you're sitting it might hit it for you here it might hit it here wherever that place is remember that place that is your reference point from now on now next time you're driving down the road and you come towards that curb you're gonna see that curb get closer and closer to that reference point that you set for yourself and when that reference point lines up with the curb then you know that you've gotten close enough now it's just a matter of straightening out your car so initially you're driving towards the curb and when you see that reference point line up you move your steering wheel over to the left and the reason you do this is because your car is going to be pointing in at this angle so you have to when you reach the reference point start steering to the left and give your car some time to roll and straighten out once you've straightened out that's when you straighten your steering wheel back out so it's essentially steer to the right once you're there steer to the left look at it over at your side uh, mirror and once you see the car your body of your car is parallel with the curb then you straighten out so I hope this video has been useful. If you liked it, feel free to comment, like, or subscribe to our videos on YouTube. In addition, we offer an online video training course where we show you actual footage of driving scenarios and we'll talk about curb judgment and how you can gauge that from the perspective of a driver. 
So be sure to check that out at www.zula.ca. Now, it's one thing for me to stand here in front of a whiteboard talking about curve judgment. It's another to get out there with your driving instructor or co-ed driver and put this stuff into practice. I hope to see you in another video soon.